Yo, what's up everyone, Ufa here, and today we've actually got this clan chest unlocked, you guys can see it's 10 out of 10, so obviously max level, and yeah, quickly having a look at the crowns, you guys can see people doing work once again, which is awesome, me in 8th again with 55, I think that's twice, like two clan chests in a row, I got 55 crowns, so yeah, that's pretty insane, we've also got these chests to open, which should be awesome, and yeah, we're just gonna hop right into it here, but first, there's actually a glitch inside the game that I found. I don't know how it happened exactly. I'll walk you guys through the situation. So yeah, as you guys can see here, it says that I'm inside a game when I'm not actually inside the game. And every time I go to first spectate, it doesn't let me spectate it. You guys can see I'm playing a guy, but I'm not playing him if that makes sense. And yeah, really weird, really weird glitch. And I wanted to know what would happen and how long this would last for. So literally that's what I've done, so you guys can see, so yeah, far forward a bit, it's now saying that we've been in that game for more than half an hour. Kind of crazy, I know, right? I've been playing the same game apparently for 30 minutes, and that's crazy for two reasons, because one, a normal game doesn't even go past 6 minutes, so the fact now this one says 30 is a very weird glitch, and yeah, like I said, still won't let me spectate. And the way how I actually like ha this happened was someone requested a friendly battle. I tried to accept it, but it just wouldn't like let me play. And then I closed the app. And when I reopened it, it came up saying that I'm playing him when I'm not. So yeah, that's how it happened. Don't really know the situation. But anyway, I thought then what happened if we waited an hour? Like, would it go to 60 minutes then stop, or would it stay like one hour, 60? Who knows? Anyway, we got to 60 minutes or one hour. And yeah, you guys can see it just says one hour and then minutes. Which is again crazy because a normal game doesn't go past six minutes. So yeah, really weird stuff, not gonna lie. What ended up happening was our clan started talking too much and then it just got out of the chat log. So yeah, I don't know if this game still thinks that game is going or what. But yeah, really weird glitch. Thought I would share it with you guys because that's something you don't see every day. Anyway, yo. Let's start opening up some chests, so we, you guys can see we got this free chest, we get nothing, we get this crown chest, and we get nothing. Ooh! Oh, bro, the game keeps giving me expos, I don't know why. Soon I'm going to make an expo deck. Prepare for that. And that chest gives me mortars, wow. And then this gold chest, and we got a guard. Yeah, man, we, we got good chest luck. I'm feeling a legendary card today. Alright, guys, so we're going to hop into a battle here as well. Quickly, this is the deck I'm running. It's a minor control kind of deck. It's very weird, but right now the meta is actually bizarre. Okay, yeah, so we're into a game. My camera jump went really badly out of focus, so sorry if you saw that jump cut. But yeah, you guys can see how I run this minor control deck, and it's just really simple. You don't want to, pretty much, you want to play defense until, you know, they've done their rush, then you can do a bit of chip damage to their tower, and it's just, yeah, there's an endless cycle like that, which is honestly, like... I do not enjoy playing the game like this, in all fairness. Like, I like doing big rushes, you know, getting a bunch of stuff built up and then, you know, doing a fast rush kind of thing. But with this, it's just, you know, a lot more tame, I guess is the word for it. And a lot of the time you're waiting for your opponent to make a move. Especially with this deck, just because, like, you're, you're, you're playing complete defense, pretty much. Here we need to drop in an Electro Wizard. Normal Skeletons as well, in there for two reasons. One, they're good for rotation, and two... They can, you know, take up single target troops like knights and stuff really nicely. So normally that like kind of combination went a bit better, but he played an ice bear as well, so that electro wizard got a bit held up, but oh well. This guy plays barbarians. I should have dropped my poison spell. The miss plays. Oh, we should be able to defend it still, hopefully. And yeah, it looks like we are. That giant's taken out on the Inferno Tower. Drop normal skeletons just to make sure, and there we go. We're good. So yeah, a bit of a misplay there by me. Anyway, this dude now drops a knight, so would you go play an Ice Golem Electro Wizard? Oh wow, and the Inferno Tower can actually shoot the knight. So GG. Easy takedown, then we're going to drop a Miner. And this time we're going to have the Electro Wizard to help out, so yeah. That's awesome. Drop the Poison Spell this time. As well, we're going to log it. Log them, I guess. Log it. Log them. Just so they die inside the poison spell. And I do a bit more chip damage. We then play the Inferno Tower. We then play the Snow Golem to distract that witch. And then we play my Electro Wizard to take out the witch. Boom. Easy, simple plays. And that's going to get me the win. 
So yeah, this is like a complete control dominating deck just because, yeah. My opponent can't really do a lot to me and I can do a lot of damage to him. Play the log again. Boom, pretty much taking all of them out. I should play some skeletons just to distract the barbarian. I'm more worried about this stuff on the right or the left. But I don't even know my left and right. What am I? Anyway, we're playing the dark, go the dark goblin. Yeah, the dark goblin. On this side, just because I want him to run down the other lane like that. Exactly perfect. Anyway, this guy only has like a thousand damage left. Not even a thousand, four hundred damage left on the tower. So we're just going to quickly do this and take it out. And then we win the game. That's a good game. He's mad. And yeah, that's really the deck. Like that's all you have to do. It's really simple. Anyway, let's hop in now to the clan chairs. And yeah, guys, as usual, you guys have been actually tweeting me what you guys have been getting out of your clan chairs. So we're going to have a look at some of them. You can see the first dude right off the bat here. He's been leaving likes on my video. So he's got a ice wizard, which is absolutely epic. And yeah, just you get a legendary card. That's a guaranteed win, isn't it? Like you can't complain. You're what guaranteed two epics out of this. And if you get a legendary on top of that. Anyway, this next dude here. You guys can see he got trolled with the expo. So yeah, this guy actually got three expos. And on top of that, he also got mortars inside this clan chest. So very similar to my crown chest that I opened literally a second ago. But yeah, I've just that that's unlucky. I don't know what to say. You know, you see the best and the worst clan chests. And this is definitely one of the lower end ones. Next dude here as well, getting trolled with the mortars 240 of them which is just an insane amount on top of that he got a goblin barrel so you know long time viewers of my channel will know what that means bro dude literally just left the clan and then another guy instantly requests what is going on anyway yo moving on into the next clan chest here and you guys can see this dude actually got a legendary card again a lava hound which is absolutely epic had to be featured and he got royal giants which are just crazy on ladder you see literally non-stop royal giants right now and for our final one here you guys can see this guy actually unlocked a log out of his clan chest which is awesome so hopefully we can get some of that luck if you guys could as well make sure you guys leave a like on the video so i get good luck of course subscribe if you have not already and we are going to open up this clan chest here hopefully getting a legendary card because i haven't got one yet out of a clan chest literally i've got an epics that's it so good luck incoming here we go we get gold we get cannons we get archers that's a lot of comments so far so we gotta keep that in mind like you know we gotta make sure we see every card more comments that's fine so give me rares or epics boom it's rares more rares this could be it this could be the chance where we actually get a legendary card oh please no oh! i got really excited with the you know hope that it could be and then it got ripped away from me Okay, so what epic card are we going to get, guys? Leave your guesses in the comment section. I want to know. I'm going to guess we're going to get guards. Because, you know, they're guards. And we get bowlers. Okay, I'll take bowlers. That's our clan chest. Disappointing stuff. Like, it's really average. In all honesty with you. One day, man, we'll get a legendary card. I swear. Anyway, we're going to hop into another battle here. Just because, you know, for you guys that want to use this deck, you know, it's good to see multiple battles on how to use it. And yeah, like I said, a lot of the time with this deck, you're just kind of defending. Obviously, when you can play your... What's it, Makuda? Yeah, that thing, Miner, you probably should. But most of the time, you're just defending and just countering his stuff. Bro, that poison spell was actually brilliant. Oh, and Hog Riders, so we should go Inferno Tower. And then we're going to play a Dark Goblin to help out against that Mega Minion. Wow, he zapped my Dark Goblin. That's a very mean thing to do. Oh, well, we're good. And yeah, just like I said, this deck is just playing defense. It's really that simple. Really wish I had my poison spell right now. But yo, my tower is actually one level above his furnace. So I don't even need to worry about those fire spirits coming out. The advantages of being a level 11. And I'm playing level 10, man. I'm bad. Okay, he just played his hog rider like. His, he's got a crazy cycle going on. Or I'm not cycling fast enough, I should say, to keep up with him. But that's okay. Because right now we got a bit of a rush going towards this guy. In all honesty with you, his furnace is about to die as well. So yeah, that's 
Oh, okay, he has elite barbarians. Yo, good timing to show you guys why there's skeletons inside this deck. Because you guys are going to see, he's, they're going to kill that snow golem. Oh no, he played a log! My hope and dreams are ruined. Wow, that could have gone a lot better in all honesty with you. So yeah, a clutch log from the dude really like saved him. And then we're back to playing freaking the furnace. Yo, but this time I have my poison spell. So that poison spell is going to hit the furnace. And it's also going to hit the thingy majiggas coming out. And it's going to hit these archers. What is this guy playing at? He's just giving me value for money right here. Boom, archers are actually low enough to get logged. And then we got to defend against these elite barbarians and this hog rider man. Please go for that inferno tower. Thank you. Don't play your log. Like, just don't do it. He played it. Okay, I'm waiting. Boom, then we drop the skeletons. Didn't really need to drop the skeletons, in all honesty with you. But yo, right now, our Dark Goblin can actually shoot over the river and hit that furnace, so that's awesome. We got my Electro Wizard going through, trying to do some damage. Go play a log as well, just to knock everything back, and then... Boom, down goes that, down goes that, play an Inferno Tower. And yeah, you guys can just see... Playing pure defense once again the entire game, and then we win because we do chip damage, which is just cheesy. I really realize this is cheesy, and I don't like playing this way, but the game is forcing me to, man. I don't know what else to tell you. So yeah, guys, once again, here's the deck for you guys that want to try it. This also works on challenges, which is awesome. So yeah, give it a go. Set me if you like it or not. And yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you guys take care, brush your hair. Thank you for all the support on the channel. It's actually been insane, the amount we've been growing. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And peace out. Wah!